I am Trisha Centenera and I will be your host for this evening. I would just like to thank everybody for taking the time out of your busy, busy schedules to coming and joining us here tonight. Not only do I want to thank you all, I want to thank Y-Style for asking me to be their host again for their other amazing, amazing event. How great is this event, everybody? How awesome is Y-Style? Okay, that was pretty lame. How awesome is Y-Style? Okay, not only do we want to thank Y-Style, I would also like to thank some other people who have put together this evening, being Mac Makeup, Jing Minor Salon, Ralph's Wine and Spirits, Janelin and Charles and Keith. Now, of course, these days with social media, an event wouldn't be an event without a hashtag. So the hashtags for this evening to make this event trend is hashtag Y style times Olay, hashtag, so the, sorry, hashtag Y style X Olay, okay, Y style X Olay, and the other one is hashtag cutting age, and please make sure that you also tag it's on Y style as well, so they can all see what you guys are getting up to here tonight. So as we know, Y style started out as a youth section that tackles fashion, beauty, trends, everything. But over the years, a wider audience has come to fall in love with Y style, thanks to stories and fashion editorials that really speak to young women around here in the Philippines of all ages and all sizes and all walks of life. But tonight, we celebrate these women. Women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, with the unveiling of Olay's four newest faces with the premiere of the Olay webisodes and four collections that feature our favorite young designers who represent the future of fashion. So these were women like yourself, like myself, like your mothers and your sisters and your girlfriends at home, we have age-defying powers. What woman here has an age-defying power? No one. No one has age-defying powers. Extina, do you have age-defying powers? Yes? <laughs> Janthina Fong, do you have age-defying powers? Okay, so there's just two beautiful girls in here tonight who have age-defying powers. They have remained youthful and current because they continue to achieve and they take pride in themselves and their age. But not to just listen to me ramble on all night, please welcome on stage the Olay brand managers, Anna Lagarda and Boya Bunda, who will be introducing the new season of Olay Conversations. A warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Anna and Boy? Good, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Maraming, maraming Thank you. Salamat. Good evening, Careful. everyone. Thank good evening. you so much Thank for you. joining us here. All right. Uh, Pangalawa na ito, Anna, and uh, we're just so excited. <laughs> okay, let's talk about what's happening tonight. Um, PNG uh, is again producing the second season of uh, The Olay Conversations, which I host, which I do the interviews. And I'm just so excited because, again, um, I did some of the most exciting women uh, for, for the second season. Where is PNG coming from uh, in terms of, you know, uh, this particular season? Um, Olay this season would love to celebrate age and achievement. So we're very proud to be celebrating it with the Philippines star tonight. Thank you everyone who came to the Y Style Cutting Age party. Thank you, Bea, for hosting the party for us. I can't see you, but thank you so much for celebrating age and achievement with us. So last season, it was all about fearlessness and claiming your beauty despite the fear of moving forward, moving on. This season, it's about And it was received very well. It was very controversial. Was. People were talking about it. How did you handle that? I mean, did you expect the success of the first season? We actually didn't. We thought that a lot of women would love it, but we didn't think it would be as controversial 
I was talked well about the man. It was a bit contentious. Some, some of the interviews, actually, ladies and gentlemen, were a bit uh, uh, controversial. But you know, it. it, it <laughs> I'd rather a reaction than apathy. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. What are your expectations for this particular season? We'd love for people to get inspired by the achievement at any age. So some of our ladies are 24. You'll see them later. Some of the ladies are in their 30s and their 40s. But it doesn't matter. People can say, oh, she's proud of her age because she's in her 20s. But it's all about the achievement that they've achieved. That's right. Yeah. But even before we start to show uh, the, the interviews, people have started to talk about it. Because, you know, we, we are on air. And I ask a question, uh, uh, do you lie about your age? Bago pa man mapanood po uh, ang, ang aming mga interviews, people are starting to react already about uh, being, um, you know, do you lie about your age? Uh, w what is it? I mean, like from, from the point of view of PNG, are you ready again for, for what seems to be like, you know, uh, an extremely contentious question, which is about age? Olay is all about age. It is about age. So we're more than ready for everybody to see the first webisode, which we're going to premiere tonight. I'm sure some of you may know who the ambassador is. Some are all wondering, like, who, who is she? Tito Boy. Yeah, but uh, before we introduce that, uh, Anna, we've done the interviews and uh, some of the most powerful conversations I've done, really. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, a very special conversation with Nikki Hill. This is right after. This is right after the breakup, really. Uh, and why well, are we revealing too much? But uh, they'll, they'll be here tonight. And uh, this is an interview that, for the first time, will air on LA Conversations. I've tried to bring her to my shows. I should say no. Uh, you have to watch my interview on LA before I actually appear on television. But she'll be she'll be here with us tonight. And then I did. Uh, no, really, you have to listen to this interview. You have to listen to this interview. And then we have Mandy de la Rama. Yep. Uh, one of the most inspiring conversations I've done. We also have Camille Ko. That's right. And the episode, or the webisode, we're premiering tonight with Mikey Kohanko Jaworski. Okay, watch out for this. And we are inviting you to watch this uh, particular interview because this is where I asked Mikey Kohanko, mga kaibigan, do you have everything? Without missing a beat, she said, I do. So ladies and gentlemen, tonight, please watch this. Welcome to Olay Conversations. Today, our guest is Mikey Kowanko Jaworski. She grew up before our eyes. Inarguably, she's one of the most beautiful women in the country. A lot has been said and written about her and we think we know her especially when i see the look of surprise in people's faces when i say oh i'm 39 years old no <laughs> but the question is do we really know the woman join us in the conversation Oh, dito tayo magumpisa okay because we've been talking about our mothers mm -hmm. ting ting de los reyes kuanko was is one of the most beautiful women, not just in this country, but in the world. Was it easy growing up with a mother as beautiful as yours? I get asked that all the time, but I wonder why. Kasi hindi ko naman naramdaman na I knew my mother was beautiful, but more than that, what I've always known and what she still does is shower me with love. I was a fat kid and never really got into fashion like she did, but I never heard from her na, I'm so fat, I'm not pretty. I was always to her so beautiful. I've always been so proud of my mom and so proud to be her daughter. The toughest battle that you went through in this life, in your 39 years? Uh, having my best friends go against me. How'd you handle that? Well, it wasn't just uh, an emotional issue. It also reached uh, legal, <laughs> the courts and, and other authorities above myself. I yeah. didn't know anything about this. That must have been tough. Yes. And I say that it's really the toughest thing that I've had to go through. I mean, these are friends that every night I would pray, thank you, Lord, because some people don't have friends as good as this. And I went through that. So that was... 
the most painful, but I believe that God has been so good to me in my life that hindi niya siguro inunti-unti na yung lessons na gusto niyang matutunan ko by that. Ibinuhos. Parang isang malaking buhos na lang na sakit. <laughs> Tapos siguro naman, anak, alam mo na yung gagawin mo after this. So. At 39, Mikey, ano yung mga achievements na pinaka-proud ka? My family is the first. And although it's also the biggest challenge for me to continue that, being a mother that loves my husband, loves my children, we only want the best for everyone. And for me, that's one of the things that keeps life really interesting. And with all the other things that I've done and still do, more than being proud, I think I'm just really grateful and looking forward to more challenges that will allow me to achieve things that can be more tangible to the people that I'm trying to do something for. What tangible things? Well, I'm part of a lot of advocacy. Advocacies. Like, okay. For example, Anak TV. For me, Tama. that is so dear to me because it's molding minds of future generations. And of course, Gawad Kalinga, which I've been part of since 2003, yun, isa sa mga bagay na proud ako to be a part of. Kasi nakikita mo eh, nakikita mo yung pagbabago ng buhay ng isang tao na walang sariling bahay. Nagkaroon siya ng bahay, nag-iba yung pag-iisip niya. Ngayon, mas natuto siyang mangarap. And now, being part also of the most powerful sporting body in the entire world, Yes, it's a privilege, but more than that, I see it as a responsibility. Mikey Kuwanko has everything. I'm sure this is not the first time you're hearing it. Do you have everything? Did I put too many candles? Uh, no, too few. What's the secret to skin that looks younger than your age? Olay totally effects. One cream, seven benefits. Looks surprisingly younger. I don't mind growing older, as long as I look younger. Olay totally effects. PNG. Mikey Kuwanko has everything. I'm sure this is not the first time you're hearing it. Do you have everything? I do. What are they? I have peace of mind, and I have peace in my heart. And for me, that's everything. Mikey, share with us your stories about uh, age biases. Well, in most sports, there are deadlines. When you reach a certain age, it just happens that the younger people are faster, jump higher, are a little bit stronger, have less things wrong with their bodies from wear and tear. So in that sense, it's very real. And I can't say that I don't feel it myself because I've fallen off horses over 90 times. I've injured so many parts of my body. So at this point in time that marami tayong nakikita na mas bata, na mas fresh, I can't say that it's not also a challenge to keep up with that kind of youth, I guess. Looking at it also from, uh, as, as an actress, you okay. know, you get to a point where you're not anymore playing the love interest. You're playing the mother of the love interest. And Is that a problem to you? It's not a problem to me, but it's an eye-opener still. Eye-opener to what? That every year, whether or not you like it, you add one to your age today. And I can see why that could be intimidating to a lot of people. This is where I'm going to ask you the question. Do you lie about your age? Go beyond moisture to skin reborn with every wash. Seven useful benefits with Olay Total Effects, now in a beauty bar. I said this in awe and partly envy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mikey, you look so beautiful. You look so young. 
And this is where I'm going to ask you the question. Do you lie about your age? No. No, I'm really happy that I don't feel that I have to. I realize that there are women that feel they do, but in many and ways, we respect it's, that. yes, definitely, we respect that. definitely, we respect that. But uh, I think that's a way of seeing that they don't have total peace in their minds and in their hearts. What about that story about the IOC? Because this is uh, very recent, mm -hmm. right? You've been elected to the International Olympic Committee. Wow, and that's uh, a big thing. Yes. Okay. So one one of the girls. Uh, one of the members said to me. Oh, so now you must be the youngest among us. And she and is... She's the youngest one. She's at 29. She's the youngest member at 29. And I said, no, no, I'm not. And she looked at me as if I was telling her this big fat lie. And she <laughs> looked so offended by it. But I was being whisked off away somewhere. So I couldn't really explain okay. that I'm actually 39. And she could not follow up. No. <laughs> How do you stay fresh? How do you stay... Uh, looking so young all over. I mean, it's not just a face. It's, it's the whole thing, inside and out. I have an amazing husband who takes such good care of me. And I have three boys who are growing so fast, whose lives I'm very much a part of. So I think that really keeps me young also because I play basketball with them. We go to the beach with them. We go to the farm with them. And I think it's really more what you feel inside. That radiates. That really radiates and it right. shows on the outside. But I have to admit that I was always so lazy before about anything physical, anything on the outside. You know, I was, well, I am part of a sport industry where we have to be dirty. Okay, and having said that, how do, how do you take care of that skin? Uh, how do you take care of that face? How do you take <laughs> care of yourself? I used to be really lazy to the point that my coach would tell me, you have to put some sunscreen on. And one day I just said to myself, you know what, maybe she's right. Because mm, I think maybe I'm getting wrinkles or something, but I've always been lazy. And then I found Ole. And it's everything that you want is in one bottle. So I started using it. And I don't know, but I just felt like I looked better, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, you know, this skincare thing probably can't be so bad. You know, it's just a little bit of effort. And finding just what suits you, what you're comfortable with. And I realized, oh, wow. Just a little bit of effort goes a long way. <laughs> you know, this, this, this whole battle between uh, not, not the young and, you know, not so young, but yeah. being young and getting older, for example. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you more conscious about this now? I can see a lot of people in a struggle with that. But do I feel it? Yeah. Not really. Do I give it a lot of weight and importance? Not really, because at any age, we can find purpose. And what this age anyway? Why do people think that just because you reach a certain age, you're not as useful or attractive as someone who's younger? When in fact, you could be more of an asset to a company or any kind of organization. No, but you're blessed because you look a lot, 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 lot younger than your age. Mm -hmm. I mean, without even trying really too hard. I mean, sabi mo nga eh, ole plus peace of mind. Yes. <laughs> and that's the whole formula. A movie is going to be done about your life story. Give it a title. Blessed. And you are blessed. And I am blessed. You are. Maraming salamat, Mike. Thank you, Tito Boy. Thank you very much. <laughs> In all my interviewing years, I ask the question, do you have everything for the first time? I got the answer with so much sincerity and honesty. I do. And I believe her. Why? Because she's content yet open, competitive but accepting, beautiful yet compassionate. I think Mikey's most important message is, like her, 
You too can be beautiful by celebrating your individuality. This is Boy Abunda for LA Conversations. I am Mikey. I am a proud wife, mother, athlete, advocate, Filipino. I am proud to be 39 years old, especially when people say I look half my age. I am proud to be an LA woman. Get younger looking skin just like Mikey. Buy Olay Total Effects now. Click here to order online. There's Boya Bunda and Anna Lagarda. Thank you so much for joining us here this evening. And without further ado, for Cutting Age, Y-Style has presented you here tonight, four very young, talented designers, and they have asked them to create looks that celebrate the woman at every age. Proud Race, Maureen Decini, Milka Quinn, and Martin Bautista have created looks for women of every age, early 20s, late 20s, 30s, and 40s. Inspired by these amazing achievers are their muses. Camille Kaur, a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Camille Kaur, who represents the age of fearless, pioneering the early 20s. Nikki Hill, who represents women in their late 20s, the age of brave rediscovery. Mikey Cuenco Jaworski, who represents women in their 30s, garnering accolades and achievements. And last but not least, Mandy Delarama, who stands for women in their 40s who have come in their own power and prestige. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. This for all my n that's going through the struggle that's on the ground. All my n that ever had the hustle to get out of dollar, this for y'all, man. Personality change, man. The kid Cassidy. This for the hood, man. I'm a hustler, I'm a, I'm a hustler, homie I got the product, narcotics for the customers, homie Fiends open, they be smoking like a muffler, homie In this phony, so I only got a couple of homies If you a hustler, I could, I could fuck with your homie You spend a couple bucks, I'll stay in touch with your homie I get money, I get 20 a K I got 20 strips, all doing 20 a day Ay, I get cake from buds to haze, I'm making dubs They hating cause I'm on the grind like I'm making love When cops got the block hot like Jamaican clubs Cop, wait, wait for a drought and then make it flood try to take my cake you gonna take the slug but you can take my information if you taking drugs cuz i could sell raid to a bug i'm a hustler i could sell salt to a slug cuz i'm a hustler i'm a i'm a hustler i'm a hustler i'm a i'm a hustler i'm a hustler i'm a i'm a I'm made to the game, same bro, just a new groove I do more than just do tunes Cause my bills coming too soon, my son gonna be too soon Royalty checks come like once in a blue moon But I'm getting my dough from doing shows I made more dough on the grind and going gold That's why I stay fly and I'm flodging on hoes Floss is so cool in the Austin, no shoes Just a rubber band on my wrist, no jewels I ain't gotta prove I'm rich, I'm no fool I know the rules and I ain't got time for it But the nigga will shine when it's time for it And they will hate you, deal with the real cake
same things on our minds as you boys do. Don't forget to hashtag all the hashtags and a warm round of applause once again for all the designers and for the muses and for the brand managers. Thank you once again to Mac Jingmona Salons, Ralph's Wines and Spirits and Janelin. Have a great night, guys. Stay around, drink up and make sure that you guys get home safely. But before we go, if we could please give a warm round of applause to Y Styles. Gorgeous girl, Bea Ledesma. A warm round of applause for Bea. We love you, Bea. Good night, everyone. <laughs>